Hello, I'm Martine Croxall. In this episode of Extreme Weather, deadly tornadoes tear through the southeastern United States. Aid agencies appeal for help as Pakistan once again suffers severe floods. La Nina blamed for continuing drought in the Horn of Africa. And we take a look at the driest place on Earth. We begin in the southeastern United States, where a string of tornadoes has caused havoc and at least six people have died. The storms began in Texas before spreading along the Mississippi Valley through Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia and South Carolina. Meteorologists from the US National Weather Service say the severe weather was caused by warm, humid air being pushed out by a cold front. The storms were then carried along on a powerful jet stream. At least 20 separate twisters were reported, leaving a trail of wrecked homes, uprooted trees and snapped power cables. Less than two weeks after northern parts of Italy were battered by torrential rain and floods, it was the turn of the south to bear the brunt of another deadly storm. At least three people, including a 10-year-old boy, were killed in Sicily as mudslides and flash floods hit the east of the island. Cars were swept away and bridges damaged near the eastern port of Medina. Soldiers were called in to help residents in the remote village of Saponara, which was worst affected. It's only 18 months since the worst floods in Pakistan's history killed more than 2,000 people and now the country's been inundated once more. According to UNICEF, heavy monsoon rains have led to widespread flooding in the south of Pakistan, forcing nearly a third of a million people to abandon their homes and move to higher ground. And Oxfam say they're struggling to help nearly 3 million people needing emergency food supplies. Meanwhile, in the Horn of Africa, extreme drought is behind another major humanitarian crisis. More than 12 million people are affected by the two-year drought that has sent food prices rocketing. The World Meteorological Organization says the drought in Somalia and northern Kenya, the worst in the region for 60 years, has been made worse by a prolonged La Nina weather pattern. During a La Nina period, sea temperatures in the Pacific are cooler than normal. It tends to trigger heavy rains in southern Africa and the South Pacific, but can lead to drought conditions in eastern Africa and the southern United States. Drought has also hit the western African country of Niger, where people living in the Tillaberi region to the north of the capital Niamey are among the most vulnerable. Farmers and herdsmen have been hit hardest, Poor harvests and lack of water for livestock mean many are facing starvation. A prolonged dry spell is also causing problems in Afghanistan, where food shortages are being reported in some northern provinces. Around 2 million people could be affected, and with the Afghan winter setting in, the UN is appealing for $142 million in aid. The unprecedented drought follows a winter that saw less snow than usual, so there's been less water for crops. So are we seeing more extreme droughts than usual? We can see that over the past 1,000 years or so, many large-scale droughts happened. Uh, however, since uh, the middle of the 20th century, this extreme warming, increased warming, um, appears to have been related to an increased demand of uh, moisture in the atmosphere leading to recent drought experience in places like, for example, the Sahel over the 70s, 80s and 90s. On each edition of Extreme Weather, we're taking a look at some of the most extreme places on Earth, the coldest, hottest, wettest and windiest. In this episode, we travel to the Atacama Desert in South America. According to data from the Vestas weather experts, in some areas of the Atacama Desert, the average rainfall is just one millimeter each year. Some weather stations in the area have never recorded a single drop of rain, and scientists have discovered riverbeds that have been dry for 120,000 years. Despite the intense dryness, some plants do grow in the desert. It's thought they get just enough moisture from a sea fog called the Kamanchaka. But in 2011, the Atacama was hit by a freak snowstorm, which dumped 80 centimetres of snow and caused widespread chaos. Finally, to Australia, where extreme weather viewers have captured some amazing time-lapse video of a thunderstorm which swept across Melbourne. Between 30 and 40 millimetres of rain fell on the city in just 24 hours, with one district reporting an incredible 23 millimetres in just six minutes. 
According to the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, the early summer storms came as Victoria experienced unusually high temperatures and humidity, adding to residents' discomfort. That's all for this edition. Don't forget if you've got some great footage of extreme weather events where you are, be sure to let us know.